Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the laid back Sunday vlog. So this morning I'm eating sardines out of a tin for breakfast because we don't have any food in the house what? other than uh, bits and bobs which don't really go to make a proper meal. So my plan today was to spend the day on the computer setting up the t-shirt store so you guys can buy some merch and I was going to show you how I did it so if you want to set up a t-shirt store then you can but because I've had to eat sardines for breakfast I think we're going to have to go to the supermarket first and get some food in well that's the plan right so before we get in the car and go across to Tesco or wherever we're going to go I assume it's going to be Tesco. I think we'll just quickly sketch out the plan of what the shop should really look like and what I've got in mind uh, for it. So if you can imagine for instance that this is your computer screen so we've got a web page then we're going to populate this uh, as, as the merchandise shop and the site that we're going to be using is a company called Clothes to Order and they allow you to create your own web store let's pop it up here Clothes to Order I think it's .com could be .uk try both so these guys allow you to build a shop within their platform and populate it with as many items of apparel as you would like and you can upload as many designs as you like and they will print and ship the clothing to the customer for you. So you don't have to do anything apart from upload your designs. Unfortunately, the amount of commission that they pay you for doing the design work is pretty small, although you can set it to what you like. I think everybody should be able to buy a t-shirt for the right kind of price. So I think I'm only putting something like a pound or two on each t-shirt. So think of it like you're getting a t-shirt, but you're buying me a coffee or you're buying me a pint. So oh, there's the clothes to order, that's up in our address bar. And then what we're going to do is have our shop name like that somewhat and that will be on the top row. I think over here we will have our shopping basket with uh, check out items we'll put four in there for now how does that look and then of course we need nav bar underneath here so I think what we'll do is we'll pull the nav bar across and then we'll have a couple of buttons the first one would be the channel and then next to the channel we could have some some merch for the pub if you wanted to buy a brew shed t-shirt you could do and then on this side we would have the new brewery so when we get the new brewery up and running you can come and buy brewery t-shirts and baseball caps and mugs whatever else which will of course be Harrison's brewery a little bit big there move that across there we go so Harrison's brewery and then we've got our three main categories. Underneath the three main categories, I think we'll have a drop down and we'll probably have something like t-shirts, hats, mugs, etc. Same under here, ditto, and then same under here. And then what we could do is come up with ideas or categories for the t-shirts in the channel for instance and the same for the pub and the brewery so we might come up with an area that do, focuses on welding and we make t-shirts with welding uh, orientated around welding we make t-shirts orientated about what around welding and then of course brewing 
Yeah, that's another one. Uh, beer. That's another category we could use. The brew shed, of course, will have its own distinct categories, as would the brewery. Uh, but we'll focus on the channel for now and we'll build these two pages up when we get to them. So I really need to sit down and come up with some good ideas for all of these and hopefully make some some amazing amazing merch let's have a thumbs up for the amazing merch oh he's got a poorly thumb he must have whacked it with a hammer right we'll leave him chance in there with the washing machine hopefully he'll have it all out on the line by the time we get back we've got to get in the car and go Tesco let's go Tesco So we've come out to Clifton Park instead of shooting back and forth to Tesco uh, and we've ended up in front of this Remembrance Cenotaph. Look at the size of it, look at all these names Dominic. These will all be people that died in the First World War. Quite a few of them isn't there? The King's Royal Rifle Corps. Corps. The Manchester Regiment. North Staffordshire Regiment. Of that strawberry, put it next to your head. Don't drop it, it's massive. <laughs> Are you eating it? Yeah. But we had a fantastic yet nippy winter picnic. And now, <coughs> are you alright, buddy? He needs a drink. And now we're heading towards the play park area Yay! where there are lots of children running around. Probably gonna get Just here. Guys! Guys? Another stone. Well, I just found it and I hide it there. It's red and some gems. You found another one? <laughs> it's red with some gems. It's like a ladybird with gems ben on. Ben Dom found one. Right Dom's now. found one there. Oh, funny. Hey. Hey. It's on the back. Nothing new. It is for Amelia. Rather than that, three hide me. Here. What's on the front? There's no E. Oh, it's an E. Well, we've had to come back from uh, Rotherham and come straight down to the unit because the shock because the shock mount on the road mic broke, so the audio quality is not going to be quite as great right now. Well, I've scraped the surface flat, but it appears that the plastic that the road mic shock mount's made out of uh, will not take super glue. It won't glue at all, so sort of leaves me no op option but to try and either bodge it or fabricate something else up. So basically, I can't insert, I can't get it to sit on there anymore. 
Who would have thought it would fail that uh, that easily? Okay, because it won't take any super glue, I've made a little metal plate. Just quickly knocked it up on the grinder. And we've drilled some holes into her. I think we've done it, folks. So the sound of the vlog should dramatically improve about now. Is that better? I hope it's better. Right, let's get home. Right then, fellas, we've managed to populate the shop. So I'll just run you through some of these images that I've managed to manipulate today. Uh, we've got Harry Brew 69 logo, the Harrison's Brewery logo. The Brew Shed logo, me again, one I'm particularly proud of, the uh, Harry Brew 69 baseball cap on top of the Canon 80D, which looks mint, and I've put that in a cover photo as well. So what I'm going to do is go in and close all of the GIMP files. And then now we are back on the close to order web page and uh, the shop ladies and gentlemen is open but I did say I'd tell you or show you what had actually gone on seeing as today's vlog has been sidetracked somewhat by walking around the park in Rosington. So if we browse to uh, stores.closetoorder.com forward slash the hyphen merch hyphen store and you will be greeted by this page so excuse me while I plug a cooling fan into the computer I can feel it's getting hot already and uh, once there you will be able to browse to the Haribo 69 uh, page where we have a variety of t-shirts and hats available for you to pick up as well as some bits and bobs on the Brew Sheds page and on the Brewery page, all with the branding. Now this isn't all there is going to be, we're going to actually increase the lines here, increase the logos. I never got round to doing any designs with the text that I showed you earlier on, but I was particularly busy as you can tell. So basically all you do on the back office of Close to Order, once you're in there, is you edit your store using the correct button you have to have a logo you fill in the title of your store blah de blah de blah and uh, once you've got that set up that's your home page then you've got to set up some categories as you can see we've got categories here you can have as many as you want and if you wanted inside each of these categories you could click that and you could have t-shirts hats polo shirts cups whatever you like so you can have several tiers within those subcategories and then moving across onto upload and manage files the upload and manage files there is for files that you're going to be using for things such as your logo upload and manage designs are specifically for the designs that you want to put on any apparel an embroidery setup if you want to have embroidered designs that cost extra you have to pay for that setup, so you have to be confident that you're not going to be changing that anymore. We're not doing any embroidered stuff yet because this is just merch, you know, bit of, bit of, bit of fun. We don't want to be spending a fortune on embroidered stuff, but we will look at that in the future. So there we have it, folks. That is the merch shop up and running. Go and pay a visit if you want to support the channel. That's probably the best way to do it at the minute. I may be setting up something like a Patreon or a, a PayPal scheme in the future, but at the minute, you know, I make the videos for you, you buy me a pint. It's uh, fair exchange is no robbery, as they say. Other than that, we are going to look at creating merchandise for the brewery and for the pub, as well as for the channel moving forwards. But today, guys, that is the end of the Sunday supplement, as some may say. And we're going to catch you on a bright and sunny, fingers crossed, Monday morning. We'll see you then.